And this is a live look at I-65 as traffic flows heading into the long 4th of July weekend. According to AAA, more than 43 million people are expected to drive more than 50 miles from home over this holiday period, making it the busiest 4th of July since 2019. And with more people on the road, that can mean more accidents or breakdowns. ABC 3340's Aaron Wise explains how tow truck drivers are prepped for an increase in calls. With more than 43 million people hitting the road this holiday weekend, anyone experiencing an issue with their vehicle could have a longer wait time to get a tow. One viewer requested a tow from a parking lot after two of their tires blew. The tow was canceled several times before their car was picked up more than 12 hours after the initial call. Many tow companies are contracted with municipalities like Wheel Wrecker Service in Birmingham. In that case, calls from the police take priority. We may have somebody on the way and then a cop call come in. We have to reroute them to those cop calls. But when we do that, the next person that clears, we send them to the call where we rerouted the last person. Calls along major roadways also a priority, especially during the holidays. We'll definitely be busy. Um, 65 South obviously will ramp up. It's always everybody trying to get to the beach. Um, we have extra people on hand. Depending on how busy they are, Joni Williams explains wait times could be longer for non-priority calls, but with 92 drivers, they try to get to all of their calls within an hour to 90 minutes. We try to keep, you know, everybody in the loop and we try to call the customer and let them know, hey, this is what happened. Many started their travel plans today. Tags from New York, Minnesota, Mississippi and Louisiana could be seen at a rest area in Clanton off of I-65. People came prepared. There's a heat wave across the south, so we had plenty of water. We had food. We're trying to stay at least with a half a tank of gas. Um, we do have a case of water in the car. We do know how to change a tire just in case, but fix the flat in case or something happens and we have to get to like a mechanic. On Facebook, commenters added tools, first aid kits, and patients to the list of necessities. In Clanton, Aaron Wise, ABC 3340 News. Also, the Department of Transportation is staffed up to respond. Aldod has tow trucks traveling I-65 from Clanton to Alabaster, just in case a crash happens. 